Welcome back to Genuine Corner, guys. This is the seventh video in the JavaFX library management tutorial series. And in the last video, we have developed the UI and connected it to the database to add member into the database. In this video, I will be creating a table just like we did for the book in order to display the now available data from the database. So uh, in this uh, video also, we can reuse a lot of code from the list book section so first i'm going to create a new package another package uh, instead of uh, add member i'm going to use the list member then i'm going to add new fxml file uh, that will be an empty fxml file so in the last case for displaying book we use book list so here i'm going to use member list fxml file of course we need a java controller so member list controller then we will need a uh, css file yes then finish so that's good <coughs> and now i'm going to uh, remove this uh, uh, styling then saving it yes then i'm going to open the book list fxml file for copying the previous code i mean it is actually open here and in the hierarchy section i'm going to the table view right click on it and press copy then in the library assistant project this is the uh, new uh, cr class created and i'm going to click on this member list.fxml and waiting for it opening then right clicking on the angle pane paste into option so the table will be pasted into our angle pane and here instead of title we need the name of the member and instead of book id we need the member id okay then instead of order we need the contact information which is uh, mobile first then instead of the publisher we need email id so these are the four columns available in the database we don't want this availability section so i am going to remove that the name of the table view is table view which is same as we use for the book and here instead of title column we need a name column and uh, instead of member id we need id column that's good then instead of all the column i need a mobile column then instead of email column i need email call so far so good then i'm going to the control section and making sure that member list control is selected then going back to the project clicking on the fxml file and making the record controller and here also we can reuse lots of code from the previous section so here i'm going back to the uh, book list controller dot java and here we have created a class for representing the book and id and here i'm going to copy this and paste it right here so uh, doing a quick improvement instead of mem book we need member instead of title we need name instead of id that's good here we need a mobile and one more thing that is email so that's good then here instead of book we need member then uh, title instead of name then id okay then mobile then uh, email email we don't want this boolean column then this dot availability so instead of title name id is good then mobile then this dot email so i'm explaining this fast in order to save some time so again name then mobile i hope you understood if you have some doubts go back to the previous video i have explained each and every component in this class uh in the creating book list controller i mean list a book list programming video which i think was the fifth one then uh, instead of title dot get we need name dot get or we will have to change this getters so i'm pressing alt insert uh, selecting getter clicking here and generate there is one more problem we can't get the simple string property we need string property 
so uh, uh, a normal string so just using the string and instead of just retaining the name which is a simple string property I'm going to call the get function which will return the string okay 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 so that's it we have created the member class and here also we are representing the member and for every table column we are representing member string so that can be pasted the member string again member string again member string control shift i control shift f now alt shift f for reorganizing the code then going back to the book list control you can see that there was a function for init column for attaching the table to the member class so i'm going to paste it right here then instead of title column we have name column instead of id column uh, we have id column here also so mobile column and one more column is email column that's fine then uh, here we have uh, instead of title we have property name id is good then instead of order we have mobile then instead of publisher we have email so that is fine and uh, one more thing we have to call the init column function from here so that's good now we want to fetch data from the database so that was the function load data i'm going to copy and paste this function load data to the member list controller so uh, in uh, here below the init column i'm pasting it then that's fine then we have to call this load data from the initialization section so load data and here we want to make some changes so instead of book we want to load member and here uh, instead of this title we have a name in the, this is a mobile and this will be the email and id is fine okay then here instead of title we will have a name here we will have a mobile we have email address here so we got the data from the member table and instead of adding a book into the list here we have to add a member object so new member and member name uh, i have to match it with a constructor name okay id okay mobile okay and email id is fine and the last thing that we have to do is to associate the list with the table view which is already done so it looks fine and uh, so member add controller this book so add member add book this is the list member so we uh, here we are in the package now in order to load this fxml file we have to create a loader class so i'm just going to create a java class which will be member list loader just like before and here i'm going to copy and paste the member add loader which was created in the last tutorial video so i'm going to paste that right here so instead of member add loader it is a member list loader and instead of loading the member add fxml i want to add the member load the member list fxml i'm going to build the project using the run option and uh, i'm going to run this member list loader so here we are we got the member genuine coder which was added previously from the database genuine coder 100 phone number so that's it guys now we have four modules one module for adding book and one for retrieving and displaying it and one for member adding and one for displaying members so that's the end of this video uh, as always thank you for watching this video subscribe for more cool videos